In this video, I'll explain exactly how a T-bill laddering strategy works, the advantages and disadvantages of laddering your T-bills, and last but not least, the strategy I am implementing in building a T-bill ladder for myself. One of the most difficult parts of investing in T-bills is deciding which maturity date is the right one to invest in. After all, there are five different maturity lengths for T-bills, and possible advantages and disadvantages to choosing any one of the five. Thankfully, there is an easy strategy that lets us have the best of both worlds with any maturity date. That is by laddering our T-bill investment. So first, and maybe most importantly, what is a T-bill ladder? It's likely you've probably heard of a bond ladder or a CD ladder before, but maybe you don't really know exactly what that means or how it works. Basically, what you're doing is buying multiple bonds or multiple CDs with different maturity lengths. For instance, if you wanted to build a five-year bond ladder or CD ladder, you'd set it up in the following way. Right off the bat, when you make your initial investment, you're going to buy five different bonds or CDs. A one-year maturity, two-year maturity, three-year, four-year, and five-year. Then, after the first year, when your one-year bond or CD is maturing, you're gonna take all that money and the interest you've earned over that year and buy a brand new five year with it. Then the next year when the two year bond or CD matures, you repeat the process and so on and so on. The reason you'd want to implement a laddering strategy is so that A, you can manage your cash flow better when you're investing in these defined length securities. Like in the example I just gave of the five year ladder, you'd always have cash from your bond ladder becoming available to you each year. So you could choose to continue the ladder if you didn't need that cash for anything else, or you could take that cash out of the ladder and put it to use somewhere else. If on your initial investment you load it up on all five-year maturities, you'd have to wait the full five years before being able to get any of your money out. And B, the second reason you'd want to implement a bond or CD laddering strategy is because it allows you to respond to changing interest rates more rapidly. Again, because money is becoming available to you at regular set intervals, you always have the choice to reinvest it into another bond or CD at a higher interest rate, or just take that money out and invest it elsewhere if the interest rates aren't to your liking anymore. If you wanted to sound sophisticated and impress your friends, you could just tell them you're dispersing your risk along the interest rate curve. True story, I got a lot of dates with that line back in the day. The lie detective determined that was a lie. And you can implement this strategy with T-bills, treasury notes, CDs, or even I-bonds if you like. I've decided to take some of my cash and build a T-bill ladder. Instead of building a CD ladder, or investing more in I-bonds for a couple of reasons. First off, I think T-bills have some distinct advantages over both CDs and I-bonds. T-bills generally pay higher interest rates than bank CDs do. T-bills are shorter maturity length than I-bonds, so it's a shorter term commitment. There are no state or local income taxes due on the money you earn from T-bills. The same is true for I-bonds, but not for CDs. And while it doesn't affect me personally, there are higher purchase limits for T-bills. A maximum of $10 million. With I-bonds, it's $15,000 only if you're getting a tax refund, and while there is no hard and fast limit on CDs, you are only FDIC protected up to $250,000 per CD. And T-bills are by far the most liquid. When bought through a stock brokerage, T-bills can be sold at any time on the secondary market without penalty, which is untrue for both I-bonds and CDs. And the other reason I've chosen to build a T-bill ladder with my money has less to do with the technical aspects of T-bills themselves and more to do with how this is gonna fit into my personal finances and my short-term cash strategy. First and foremost, as I just said, this is a short-term cash strategy. I still make regular monthly investments into the stock market and I won't be stopping that anytime soon as I believe this is also a great time to be buying stocks. But I strongly believe that the stock market is a long-term investment. I don't want to put a single dime into the stock market that I think I might need to use for any other purpose in the next five to 10 years. And the second reason is I've maxed out my I-bonds for the year. And even still, I view those as more of a medium to long-term solution for my cash. My I-bond holdings are a backup to my emergency fund, a true break glass in case of emergency when all other outlets have been exhausted kind of emergency fund. And the third reason is T-bills pay much better interest rates than my high yield savings account. And most importantly on this point, I'm comfortable running my savings account a little lean for the time period between maturing T-bills in the ladder I've got set up, as you'll see in just a minute. 
So now let's get into the T-bill ladder that I chose to build and why. I wanted to keep this bond ladder as liquid as possible, so I stuck to the shortest maturity dates available. That way, if interest rates continue to rise, as I suspect they probably will for the foreseeable future, I'm not locked up for too long at a subpar rate and I can react quickly. Or if I see a new pinball machine I want to have sitting here behind me, I can have the money available to make that purchase relatively quickly as well. So I'll be sticking to the three shortest maturity periods. And essentially after the first eight weeks after my initial investment, this T-bill ladder will have money being available to me every five weeks. It's kind of annoying that the maturity periods jump from eight weeks to 13 weeks because I'd love to be able to structure this so I have something coming available every month, but what can you do? Five weeks it is. I'm going to be buying all of my T-bills through Treasury Direct and holding each one until maturity. If you prefer or if you think you might want to sell out of some of your T-bills early, you can also do the exact same thing through your stock brokerage app. So the first step when I make my initial investment is I'm going to buy a four-week T-bill, eight-week T-bill, and a 13 week T-bill. Then after that first four weeks is up and my first T-bill matures, I'm gonna take the initial investment in that T-bill and the interest it's earned in that month and I'm gonna buy a new 13 week T-bill. Then in another four weeks when that eight week T-bill matures, I'm going to repeat the process and buy a new 13 week T-bill with that money. After that, every five weeks I'll repeat the process or I'll have the option to take the money out and do something else with it. T-bills have maturity dates of four weeks, eight weeks, 13 weeks, 26 weeks, and 52 weeks. And if you wanted to get into something longer term, you could even include some treasury notes, which have maturities of two, three, five, seven, or 10 years. The longer maturity rates on any of these, the higher interest rates you're going to get paid. So you can really mix and match and tailor this strategy to suit your exact needs if you're willing to hold some longer maturity bonds in exchange for a higher overall yielding bond ladder. Let me know if you plan to build a T-bill ladder or a CD ladder, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.